probably not the best weather to send Murray over to the jetty to pick up something. The lightning's right behind him. Oops. We left Boyne River this morning, starting on our journey north. Uh, we're heading for Great Keppel. The winds are only about three knots at the moment, so Murray's putting his Jenica up. You know, pretty calm, nice. Not a bad day after all the rain. Sun's out, so lovely sailing day. Just needed a little bit more wind. My job is to pull this right and I'm happy better focus on that a little bit, tighten it. Sun going down over Yapoon as we go past Keppel Island. We're just going to pull in here for the night and continue on tomorrow. It's been a pretty good sail. Although a bit slow in the morning. It's picked up nicely in the afternoon. We got into Svensson's Beach on Great Keppel Island last night about 7 o'clock, so it's just on dark, but we've been here a couple of times, so we felt fairly confident about where we were. Uh, it's 6.15 now, and the uh, sun's just come up, and we're just putting the sails up. I'm going to pull up anchor in a minute. Uh, maybe try to get to Pearl Bay, see how it goes. All that plane was a bit too much for Cheryl. Sure. So we're coming into a bit of an iconic anchorage, uh, Pearl Bay, um, in the Shoalwater Bay region. Looks like a beautiful anchorage. It's a shame you can't swim here, because of crocs. I had a 
brief stop here, but uh, we're pulling up anchor and heading out. Another beautiful day for sailing. Surrounded by turtles here. The sunset, just anchoring. The sun goes down at Marble Island. Part of the Duke Isles. It's a full moon, but it's not. I didn't fall in the water. Eventually I got the anchor up, had to hand wind it. Because I don't want to hand winch the anchor up every day, we've now decided to cut short our stay at the Duke Isles and head into Mackay as soon as possible to get the anchor winch fixed or replaced. The Duke Islands are now used as a hunting reserve. If that's your thing, you can come out to the Duke Islands and shoot some deer. If you want to go ashore, just contact the island ahead of time to make sure there's no live firing. Anchored at Curlew Island and a uh, beautiful full moon is just rising at the moment. Okay, we're leaving Curlew Island. We're just going out the north entrance, which is um, a little bit shallow at times. Um, but it does save about an hour off our trip. So we've got um, Cheryl on the helm, doing a good job. And I'm up here spotting for um, anything. It's a bit tidal coming out here, so there's uh, a bit of, a few rips and eddies, but uh, all in all, it should be safe enough. Uh, it's relatively low tide, the tide's coming in. Uh, it's risen so far about a metre to a metre and a half. So that should be enough for us to go over here. What's our depth? Sixteen meters. Oh, okay. No stress. Over that side, you've got a sandbank that comes all the way over, and on this side, you've got rocks. So it's a very narrow channel. I put the sail up. It's got a reef in it. Uh, the wind's going to be behind us all the day. It's going to be around uh, fifteen knots. I uh, only put the reef in because the wind's behind us, so... Otherwise we'll have a little bit too much sail out here. Uh, our drama at the moment is the anchor winch. It's not locking off, it's just uh, basically now like a normal winch. So to pull the anchor up I have to actually manually grind it up. Uh, it should be an electric winch. Push the button up, it comes. Push a button here. Nothing happens. Because the anchor winch is no longer functioning, and my adversity to hard work, we'll head straight into Mackay Marina and try and get the windlass sorted out. Uh, unfortunately, we're coming up to the Easter weekend, so 
nothing's going to happen quickly here, so I think we're going to be stuck in this marina for over a week. And that's where we'll leave this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button and share the video with friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next episode.